My name is Ben Whittam, and I'm a lecturer in international relations here at DMU. And I'm about to start a new research project, actually, that's funded by DMU's Center for Urban Research on Austerity, Cura. Uh, and this project is going to explore the intersecting politics of austerity and Islamophobia. So we know that there's been a long-term increase in Islamophobic attitudes and hate crimes uh, targeting British Muslims in the post-9-11 era. But often, Islamophobic representations of British Muslims in both the tabloid press and in far-right literature make claims relating to more economic issues, like access to social housing, welfare benefits, and so on. And this has especially been the case since the onset of the economic crisis a decade ago now. Uh, and we've seen a further uptick, actually, in Islamophobic hate crimes since the vote to leave the EU in 2016. So we're going to be interviewing British Muslims across three East London boroughs about their experiences of Islamophobia and studying those responses to try and understand how they might intersect with issues around austerity, cuts, and public service provision. So we hope that our research will really lead to a better understanding of how a range of different inequalities can overlap one another, especially at times of economic and political crises of the kind that we're living through today, to mean that some people in our society are more marginalized, less represented, have less of a voice than others. Uh, and we also hope that this research and the publications that it will lead to will contribute to giving some people in that position more of a voice.